Welcome to the most sultry bronze makeup you're gonna ever wear. I am Hadra and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to apply this bomb bronze makeup look. A bronze makeup is one of those makeup looks that suits anyone and everyone on this planet, especially if you're a tan or even not, because I'm going to show you how to fake a tan with makeup. There's always something about the bronze shades that I love because they melt into your skin and make you look like a bronze goddess. <laughs> so are you ready to rock this look? Let's go! So first of all, we apply the Arborean CC Water Gel Cream as our primer all over the face. What this product does is it neutralizes any unevenness of the complexion and makes the skin hydrated as well as plump. This CC Cream comes in the shades Claire and Doré. Claire gives you a more cool undertoned finish, whereas Doré, the one I'm using, a more warm undertone. Then we switch to the eye makeup. We apply the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 20 all over the lid and go over it with a translucent powder to set it into the skin. For this bronze look, I have chosen the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette because it just contains all the bronze shades we need to choose from. I start right away with applying the transition shade called Beach using a flat shader brush by Alpha Makeup. I focus on the outer edge of my eye and apply the eyeshadow until it is pigmented. You can slightly go over your crease fold with this shade. Once I pack the outer edge, I go ahead and grab a classic fluffy blending brush by Alpha Makeup and blend away all the hard edges outwards in the direction of the temples. Next, I create depth switching to the shade Suntan from the palette. I apply it with the same shader brush from previously and then blend it with the classic fluffy blending brush until it looks faded. Then I use a small amount of concealer and cut half of the crease starting from the inner corner up until the center of the lid. Once that is done, we apply a brown liquid eyeliner by Sense Cosmetics to lift our hooded eye. Here again, I mainly focus on lifting the outer half of the eye because that is where the skin covers my lid the most. Important note is to keep your eyes open and relaxed while creating the winged liner. Once I have extended my upper lash line with the eyeliner, I now connect the line with my upper lash line to complete the wing. I stay on the outer half of my upper lash line and do not align my whole upper lash line. Once the winged eyeliner is applied, I want to smudge it. When you smudge eyeliners and hidden eyes, your eyes look more naturally lifted than working with sharp lines. I use a smudger brush dipped into the shade Activist from the Tarte's Tarte Lip Palette and smudge the wing in sweeping motions. Keep the eyes open while doing so to be able to camouflage the hanging skin. To make the eyeliner melt into the eyeshadow and the outer half of the eye, we decided to create more depth by using the shade Leader of the Tarte Tarte Lip Palette and pack it under the crease fold. Finally, we switch to highlight the concealed cut crease. We start off using the highlighting shade Azores by Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette with a pointed dense brush. We apply the shade around the tear duct and the inner corner of the eye. Now with the shade Silk and the shader brush by Alpha Makeup, we press the sparkly shade onto our inner corner and extend the application to the center of the lid. Then we switch to the shade True Copper and press it onto the center of the lid until it looks evenly pigmented. Wow. 
Last but not least, we choose the dark metallic shade, which is called Gloaming, and apply it between the matte shade as well as the metallic shade True Copper to create a well blended transition. Then we work on the lower lash line by first using a black coal liner by L'Oreal Paris and apply it into the waterline. Now on the outer half of the lower lash line we apply the shade Magma and smudge it. Now to make the eyes more bright we use a beige coal by Sense and apply it into the rest of our waterline. With the remaining highlighting shade on the pointed dance brush, we go over the brow bone to make them more lifted. Then we apply two coats of mascara each eye using the Full Frontal Volume Mascara by Fenty Beauty. To complete the lifted eye look, we use a pair of false lashes by Ardell called Mega Volume in the number 257. I have trimmed the inner part of the falsies so they would make my eye appear more elongated and lifted on the outer half. With the lash curler, I press my lashes together so the falsies blend in well with my natural lashes and we are ready for the face makeup. For the glowy dewy finish, I use the L'Oreal Paris Perfect Match Foundation in the shade 3W Golden Beige. I apply the foundation evenly all over my face with the Multitasking Buffer Brush by Alpha Makeup. Now I add some structure and warmth to my face by first using a concealer stick by MAC Cosmetics in the shade 9. I use the creamy stick to contour my face, applying it under my cheekbones and along my nose. I blend the product upwards and outwards using the multitasking brush by Off My Makeup. Next, we go ahead and give our face some tan by using the perfect bronzer combo Hula Toasted and Hula Caramel by Benefit Cosmetics. I use an angled bronzer brush by Off My Makeup and mix the shades before applying them. I sweep the brush under my cheekbones, along my hairline and nose. You can also apply the bronzer on your neck and cleavage to match your tanned face. My body was already looking more tan than my face, so I did skip that step. As for the highlighting with the concealer step, I did use the same Fit Me concealer only under my eyes and buffed it into my skin, first using a concealer brush by Real Techniques. Then, to even out the application further, I went over it with a damp beauty blender. Last but not least, I set the concealer with a translucent powder by Laura Mercier to prevent any creasing. Then, I used the Aristo blush palette by Zoeva Cosmetics and picked the shade Demeter from the palette, which is a burnt orange. It will go well with our bronze themed makeup. I applied on the apple of my cheeks and my cheekbones and my nose using the Round Dome blush brush by Alpha Makeup. Now we highlight our cheekbone and nose bridge using the cream highlighter stick by Natasha Denona in the shade 02. This works as a perfect base for our powder highlighter as it works like the perfect luminous primer. You can wear a dewy without powder highlighter as well, but if you plan to keep glowing throughout the day, then the powder highlighter will last longer on top. So now we apply the powder highlighter by Huda Beauty in the light golden shade Azores and apply it with the fan brush by Alpha Makeup on the areas we highlighted before with the cream highlighter. 
with the eyebrow pencil micro precise base sense cosmetics in the shade brown 04 we apply hair like strokes in the gaps of our brows i start from the beginning of the brow and fill in my brows evenly up until its tail in between i brush through my brow hairs using the double-sided angled brush by alpha makeup i use the brow groomer to calm through my brows and blend in the hard lines into my natural brow hairs I highly recommend this brow pencil as it is really precise and creamy which makes the application effortless for beginners. Just make sure not to push too hard against your skin or else the pencil mean might break. For the bushy brow finish, we use the brow fixing gel by Got to Be and apply it all over the brows in the hair growth direction. If you're interested in further details to this viral brow gel product, then make sure to check out my product review video on it, linked down below in the description box. Finally, we switch to the lip makeup. So for this popular nude glossy ombre lips, I'm going to use the brow pencil I previously used on my brows now to contour my lips. It works really well as a lip pencil as you can follow since it is creamy and you can smudge it well. I smudge the heart lines with my fingers and proceed to the next step. To fill in my lips, I use the matte lipstick by Makeup Revolution in the shade Cashmere. I apply it evenly all over the lips and go on top of it with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. In the end, I apply the Dewy Finish Fixing Spray by NYX all over my face to lock in the makeup and I'm basically done with my classic bronze makeup look. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please feel free to hit the like button, leave me a comment on whether you are inspired and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on my upcoming tutorials.